Hi. So this week I had an opportunity to work with a group of grade 7 kids to create some podcasts, and I was very pleasantly surprised with the results. Um, after brainstorming their ideas for segments and listening to some samples that I'd found online done by other kids, I put them into groups of four and they had the opportunity to create their own podcast. They decided on segments, they decided on a name, um, they had some time at the end to sort of try to fix, put some finishing touches and some music and things. So the program that I had them using to put together their podcast is a program called Mina. And the reason why I chose Mina is because it's web-based, the kids all had access on their laptops. I created an account and I was able to have all three groups signed into my account and saving straight to my account. Just made it a lot easier at the end when it came time to publish these to the web. The other reason too is there's a library of open source loops and music tracks within the program which makes it so easy to add them in without worrying about copyright issues. So when you first open when you first launch Mina, you'll see a screen like this. And I'll just show you a couple of the features. So if you click on library down here, you see all these different music loops and intros you can use. So there's endless, endless ones. Uh, clicked that to make it go away. Imported. Over here are all of the files that you've imported or recorded. So I was playing around earlier and I put this uh, theme that I want to use for mine in here. The other benefit of Bina is that the kids can record directly into the program. This was so easy. I had originally intended on having them record into Sound Recorder and then import their files, which is possible too, but recording straight to Mina was so easy. So I'll just click that to make it go away. And I'll show you how you record. We'll record a little intro for my uh, sample podcast here. So click record. Click allow to use the microphone. All right, once you've allowed access to your microphone for the program, you can see that it's registering my voice. I'm going to click start recording to record my demo for my fake podcast. Hi, and welcome to Miss Nielsen's weekly podcast. This week I have some interesting facts for you and some news about upcoming events. So it's recorded Hi, and welcome, welcome to Miss Nielsen's, Nielsen's weekly podcast. podcast. This, this week, week I have some interesting facts for you and some news about upcoming events. And you can see it plays it right back for you. If you're happy with that, you can click Import to Project. Give it a name so it'll be easy for me to sort my clips later. And click Save. You can see that now my intro is over here in my imported files. So I'm going to go ahead and take that intro and I'm just going to drag it in to the top of our sound editor here. Before we go too much further, I should mention one important limitation to Mina. Yeah, there had to be a catch. Mina will only mix something a maximum of six minutes long. So if your kids are creating podcasts that are longer than six minutes, you may want to look at using a program such as Audacity, um, these are programs, though, that you need software for, so that was why I chose to go with Mina. It did limit the kids a little bit, but they only had one afternoon to create their podcast, so they ended up being about four or five minutes, which was long enough for a group of four, I think. Now, if I wanted to maybe play around, start to add some intro music, I'd chosen this one from the library earlier this Lucy's theme. So I'm going to take Lucy's theme and put it into track two. So basically right now this means it will play underneath what I'm saying. Let's hear how that sounds. Podcast. This week I have some interesting facts for you and some news about upcoming events. That sounds kind of neat but I think I want to have the intro and then have it fade out and go into my voice. So I'm going to drag my intro a little bit farther down and start at the beginning. Hi, and welcome to Miss Nielsen.
Okay, I think that sounds pretty good, but I think I might want to play with um, fading in and fading out. Now I have to tell you that when I introduced this program to the students, I only showed them the very basics, because I only knew the very basics. And by the end, of course, they were showing me how to fade in, fade out, add effects, and all that stuff. So that was kind of a neat thing. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to click Auto, and then uh, Fades. And I get, I get these little um, gray boxes. So I can click to have it. Maybe I want it to kind of come in like that. And then I want it to fade out kind of the same way. Maybe quite a bit of fade out. And then I'll move that. All right, let's hear how that sounds now. Hi, and welcome to Ms. Nielsen's weekly podcast. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So I could continue along this way, recording segments, importing files. To import a file, I should probably just show you that quick. It's File, Import Audio, and you can browse for whatever you want. Cancel. Now, I'm going to click Save As, and I'm going to call mine Sample Podcast. I could give it a little description, of course, with any kind of social network web 2.0 tool. You can give it tags. Um, I'm going to go log in. I've already created an account. It's very easy. You can see that you just fill in these. I'm going to put, um, already have an account. And I'll save that as a new creation. All right, it gives you this option for mix down. Now, every time the kids saved, I didn't have them make what we call a mix down. But at the end, you need to make a mix down of your file so that you can download it to computer and then for later publishing it to the web. So I'm going to click mix down since I'm kind of done with my sample. All right, once your project has finished mixing down, this screen will pop up and it gives you a bunch of options. So it gives you, obviously, um, the Avery page URL, the editor URL, it gives you an embed code so you can embed this uh, mp3 player into your blog or website. Um, it also gives you an opportunity to share it on any of your other maybe social networks, Facebook, Twitter, um, stumble upon. And this was the one over here that we're going to look at. I'm going to download an mp3 copy of my sample podcast. Download, I'll save it to my desktop, click save. And just like that, you have an MP3 copy of a podcast you've created. Thanks for listening.